Danielle Delate for Hey You Guys at the premiere of Father of the Year. The red carpet's just about to start, so let's check it out. What's it like working with these guys from Happy Madison on this movie, Father of the Year? Um, well, this is actually my 16th or 17th Happy Madison movie. We're like a big family. Um, but this one has a guy named Nat Faxon in it. Do you know who that is? So uh, this guy has an Oscar. I don't know if you know that. He has an actual Oscar. So I, I, the day before meeting him, I was like, do I have to speak with a British accent? Like, what? how do I be like proper with this person? But he ended up being really cool and um, very nice. I play the flasher, so I'm naked the whole movie. And uh, I have to, you know, all my scenes are with Nat. And at, at one point, you know, I have to kind of get a little close and naked to him. And, you know, we did the first take. I didn't know how I was going to deal with it. And I said, sorry for getting close. And he goes, no, nah, man, go for it, go for it. So I got a little closer. Yeah. And I said, what about that? And he said, go for it. And I literally ended up rubbing my tush against his face at the end. And he loved it. It was, you know, I think it was the best moment of his life, to be honest. I would say that guy's grundle in my face uh, was easily the most memorable because there was so much to digest with his body positioned in my face that that was easily the most memorable. Um, no, we had a really good time. It was really fun, you know? It was like, I'm from Boston, and so it was like filming like kind of near where I grew up, so it was like a very pleasurable experience just to be kind of home and doing something fun with fun, you know, collaborative people. And if you could nominate anyone in the world for Father of the Year, who would it be and why? See, this is the second time that I've been asked, like, who's your favorite father? And I've, like, never thought about, like, that guy's a pretty good dad. Probably Adam Sandler. Yeah, like, for real, for real. He's into his kids, Sadie and Sonny. They're actually my nieces. My, my sister's married to him. Uh, and he's by far the best father. By far, by far. Let's go to soccer practice. Let's go to tennis practice. Sing, 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 dance, dance. Those kids are tired from all that father stuff, actually. I would have to nominate my own father because he's my dad. Ryan Reynolds, because he's funny as hell. Homer Simpson has been through a lot. He's been in some sticky situations. And he's almost killed his kids on multiple occasions. And they're still alive. And they're still the same age as they were 22 years ago. So he's doing something right. So Homer Simpson, uh, Father of the Year, that's my nomination. Good role model. Yeah, or my dad, I guess he's fine. But like Homer Simpson, really, his daughter's so smart and she plays a saxophone and she's been 11 for 30 years. That's pretty cool. That's a good achievement. I got a great dad. He's a really great dad, so we'll give him this one. Yeah, he's a good one. What is the most embarrassing thing your father has ever done? We were, I was in elementary school with him. My dad's kind of a bigger dude, and me and my, he was talking, it was parent-teacher day, and he walked up right next to us while we were sitting in the desk, and he farted on my friend, accidentally, and then he just denied it the whole time. But it literally was at face level, and so he farted right on his face, and it was horrible. I didn't live it down for like, Year. Wow. So I had to play a hockey game, like a legitimate take it seriously hockey game against a lot of dads that mostly played hockey and my dad who was running into the boards every 30 seconds. And that didn't make me look too cool in the locker room. But then again, your parents are their own people. Don't judge yourself by them. So my mom would, would do uh, a few embarrassing things, but one of her big ones was she would drop me off for school and I'd have to like do a quick kiss on her cheek and she would honk the horn as I did it. So everyone looked. <laughs> It's pretty rough. Playing sports of any kind, because I was a very t uh, small teenager until I was about 18. So I raced motorcycles, I played football, and I was terrible at them. But it was like, you got to keep doing it. So they taught me how to be a loser early on, and it worked. So now getting a win is like even that much better. We used to do uh, hog calling at the fair, and he would, uh, he would dress us up as pigs. I'd ride his back, you know what I mean? It's all good stuff. My father used to answer the phone at the house. Uh, and he knew it was someone calling for me and he would pretend that they had, he would do funny voices and pretend that it wasn't our house. And, uh, and, and it, so he would always embarrass me that way. If David and Nat got into a fight, who do you think would win? Nat, for sure. <laughs> Nat, for sure. He's got, he's got the height. I think that would, uh, that would win. Now that I know, there's a scene in the movie where they have to put nipple cream on his nipples and shooting it, he got a little squirmish. So I feel like I would win because I could slip my hand and give him like a purple nurple. And I feel like I would win just off of that move. Oh, Nat. I think the winner would have a great chicken dinner after David Spade clobbered the head of that slobber. 
I feel like Nat. I, I, I did some physical scenes with David, and no offense to David, but Nat, Nat, Nat plays hockey. Nat's, Nat, Nat, Nat would win. Listen, David's one of my closest friends, but he knows he's going to get his ass beat by Nat. Da David, David has some physicality problems. He'll be the first to tell you. Like, he couldn't even run away, David, if, if someone started swinging at him. He would curl up into a ball. You won the poll hands down. Really? That makes me feel very good. Just going into the after party when I talk to him and just tell him that myself. And then we maybe get in a fight and then I win. Uh, have you ever had a bet with a friend that got out of hand? One time my friend bet me to go up to his other friend's house that I didn't know and take my clothes off and knock on the door. Don't worry, he'll know it's a joke after I pop in and whatever. Long story short, he did not know the house we went to. He just picked a random house. You know, after some convincing of the police that we thought it was a joke, we were let go. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was, a, that was a fun day. I, I make stupid bets all the time where I don't think they're going to go through or I think that just my, like, brashness is going to just, I'm going to make it, I'll give you 10 bucks, and then I just never pay anybody. So I've been running away from some loan sharks for about 17 in my 22 years. Yeah, we had a bet of who could hit each other's hands harder with a hammer, and that was, eighth grade was a very weird year for me, and, uh, and I lost that bet, so. Now, your character has a little bit of an embarrassing uh, skinny dipping scene, doesn't go to plan. What was it like filming that scene? Oh my God, boy, are you in for a rant. I, uh, we filmed that in April in Boston, Massachusetts, and it was like 40 degrees, and the pool, the lake was not freezing, but my, as my balls are considered, it was freezing. And it was like, yeah, like 40 degrees, and I had to do it completely naked. Bridget had to not get in it naked. She had like a wetsuit on. They like had hot water pumped into it and they wanted to get that wide shot that's in the trailer. So yeah. I guess it was worth it. Yeah. Uh, but <laughs> I had to do twice. Get Take off all my clothes, already freezing cold. Everybody is hooting and hollering because I look so good naked. And then I just have to walk into that lake and just bite my lip and just be like, act, act. And the, I told the director, I was like, I don't know how like long I can stay in there without you know dying. And he was like, well, we'll just do the beginning of the scene and then the latter half of the scene. I was like, great, perfect. He's on my side. Yeah. Go into the pool, just do the whole scene. I was like, why didn't you stop us? He's like, it was so good. I'm dying. I was dying. So that scene was great. Yeah. See, it was great. It was a great day. Yes. Memorable. Memorable day. Meanwhile, I was naked the whole time, so never warmed up. Are there any behind yeah. the scenes moments maybe? You know, like secret stuff, things like that, that people aren't going to see in the movie? No, I mean, I was talking about down there, I will say that stunt that where they fall through the greenhouse, I have to give props to the stunt people because that was easily one of the coolest and most scary things I've ever seen. I mean, they jumped out of like a three-story building into like a glass greenhouse that was like padded with like cardboard and it looked really cool. And I love David Spade's unique, po popular brand of comedy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's it like working with him? No, David's the funniest because even when they yell cut, you're just sitting there and he's just constantly, you know, he's like making fun of Tyler. He's making fun of another friend of ours, Joe, who was on the set. You know, he's just always, he's the quickest. So what was it like working with these this cast of crazy funny guys for this movie? It was a delight of creation across the Netflix station and into zero hesitation to be on <laughs> Netflix. What are you excited for audiences to see with Father of the Year? Oh, there's so much. I'm happy because uh, I just think there's a lot of great physical comedy and just a lot of good jokes. I, I love all the young people in it. They're all funny and uh, I, it was good to work with people we didn't know. I, I just think people will have a good time. And uh, if you're having a bad day, go watch Father of the Year. And have a good laugh. And have a fun time, yeah. Father of the Year is out now on Netflix, so if you're in the mood for a good laugh, make sure you check it out. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys!